Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. This intro was recorded late because when I filmed it earlier, the footage got messed up and I couldn't use it. So I, I'm redoing the intro later. But yeah, so basically what today is, I woke up really early and I went bass fishing and it went really well. So yeah, also I got this new hat my birthday and it says infinite angling on it and I don't know I thought it was really cool because it, it's like the season official scene and all the all type of clothing so yeah pretty excited about that and this is being recorded on my new GoPro the GoPro Hero 7 Silver which is also really cool and some footage is recorded on my old GoPro because I'm using that kind of like a second camera because the GoPro Hero 7 is going to my chest cam and I'm going to keep the the hero session with my old camera, I'm gonna keep that on a tripod. So, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so we're starting off with the frog. We're gonna try to get that top water bite because, as you can see, there are some things going on top of it right now. And there's a lot of vegetation in this pond. So, we're gonna try to get that top water bite on the frog. So, yeah. Look, there's so much blow-ups everywhere. Oh, I, should, I might actually get... Oh, there's a blow-up right next to my lure. They're, they're feeding right now. See, look at that. What's going on? There's so much vegetation in this pond, I can't really throw, like, a popper or anything, so... I gotta just throw this guy. The water in here used to be really clear, but now it's kind of like chocolate milk. Hoping. All right, I'm gonna throw a soft plastic for a second. And if not, I'll switch back to the frog. That's pretty cool looking rod. I, th I thought it looked pretty cool. This is the real. It's the Arbor Garcia Silver Max 40. And, I don't know, I forgot, I saw it, it's in my closet, so I put it on this rod that I found, that I got. That was pretty nice, actually. I just really, I think it looks really cool. See? I look, it's kind of like a bee caster. But, a spinning rod. I don't know, I just really like the cork design. Like, a lot of my rods have the cork design on it. I just personally really like it. Okay, so I just came to a second pond. And I, as soon as I pulled up, I saw there's this giant puddle that's been here for a couple of weeks. And it hasn't dried up completely yet. And there's usually nothing in it. But I came up and there's these tracks. And over here, all the way down here, is that it's just a little turtle just sitting by itself. Enjoying the time in the puddle. <laughs> and of course there's duck, there's geese over there, but uh, I thought it was kind of funny that there was a turtle right there, and there's a pond right there, but you know, he's just spending his time in the puddle. I thought it was kind of funny. Right there, there's a female mallard and her chick. See him right there? It's kind of cool. That's too shallow to fishing right there. Like, not gonna, there's probably not any bass right there. But on the other side over here, you got all of this. There is potential to be a bass. There it is. Yes, sir. Bird's nest. No way. No way it has to move. Out of the golf cart. No way. No way. In the golf cart. No way. No way. Oh my gosh. I caught him in the golf. 
What? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I caught him. Out of the golf cart. What? What a beauty. I caught this guy out of the golf cart. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I've, never, I've actually never done that before. And his teeth are sharp. Grouper teeth. All right, I need to get the hook out of this guy. Cause he did get gut caught, unfortunately. Well, he should be fine. It's barely even in there. Oh my gosh. Out of the golf cart. That is insane. Okay, I know. Okay. I've never caught a bass out of the golf cart. And I know it wasn't that far, but like, I don't know. I just saw it. Well, I saw one right there, but then I cast the completely opposite other direction. But oh my gosh, I did not think that was going to work. That was my first cast at this pond. Whew, that just made my day. Out of the golf cart. Oh my gosh. All right. Get him real quick. It's a nice one. I was gonna loosen this guy. Okay, you can take as long as you want. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is a beautiful fish. There he goes. Oh, you can see him. There's a school of fish right there. And there he goes. It's actually still right there. You just need to comprehend what's going on. But yeah, he'll be fine. Fish number one of the day. I will say it was a nice one. So I know it's not that crazy, but I still caught it out of the golf cart. And to me, that's pretty crazy. I've never done it before. So let's try to get fish number two. There's a lot of bait fish right there. And there was a bass thing there um, earlier. So yeah, well, let's try to get fish number two. All right, I'm switching to this um, diver because the last one I was using was 8.5 feet. This one's 5.5, so even the deepest part is when we will be might kind of re raise above. So it won't be exactly on the ground, but it'll be kind of like in the middle or we'll raise off the ground a little bit, which is actually pretty good. I'm just worried that it will get snagged, so hopefully it doesn't. But this area is kind of like a little sna um, sandier. And so far, it seems that there's not as much stuff on the ground. So hopefully this guy comes in and works wonders. No way. No way. Oh. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that. That's a nice one on the decline of crane bait. Oh, I was so right. I'm definitely not touching that thing with my hand. I'm not trying to get hooked by a treble hook right now. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I actually was right. Oh, I, that was a pretty... Okay, so I was using the 8.5 on um, deep diving, and I didn't, and I, I switched, because, you know, that was way too deep. Look at that fish. Look at that. It's a nice guy. that a pound, I would say. A little bit bigger than the other one. A little bit longer. The other one was fatter. Alright. Time to get a release on, on this little fella. This guy he didn't even fight until the very end. I didn't even feel like I had a log at first. I thought I lost him at one point. Here he 
Here he goes. Two fish. Okay, so the first fish I caught on the watermelon short tooth tip. Right here. This guy. Look at this Texas rig. And the second guy I caught on the five and a half deep diving crankbait square. Well, it's actually a square bill, but it's a 5.5 .5 deep diving square bill. So it's not necessarily a deep diver, but it's also goes pretty, pretty like, I would say halfway down, which is kind of good because the back, because the bass are hanging around those deep areas in the middle, it's going together because because the sun's coming down and that's it's in deeper down in the water, it's cooler, so they're gonna be stocked stacked in the middle. So I the first guy I used wasn't getting a bite. It was an 8.5 D diving crate bait, natural D diving crate bait, and the second guy I used was the five and a half foot square bill. And it did work, um, like around my fifth cast, all the way down to the deep end. I was just slowly reeling it around the bottom, and boom, he smacked it. And it's such a good fight. I don't know. It's just such a good fight. He felt a lot bigger than he was, though. But yeah, I'm just amazed that he stayed on because I had one trouble hooking him. But yeah, let's try to get some more. Got one. It's a nice one. Look at that. Small one. Small one, but a nice one. Woo. Third one of the day. Third one of the day right there. Look at that guy. A small one, but it's a nice one. And I'll take it. I'll gladly take any size bass. Because it's better than nothing. Hey, right, I'm back with the third bass of the day. And yeah, we're gonna release this guy. Oh, the water's actually kind of really cold. That's good. There he goes. He's gone. Just like that, he's gone. 